In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about run defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know that my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 21. And so we just want to help you uh, become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, this is the channel for you and I want to make sure that to let you know that we upload about eight videos every single day that are designed to help you get better. So if you haven't caught all the videos, make sure to head over to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. My research has shown me that only 40% of the people that actually will watch this video will be subscribed to me, which means 60% of you guys have not subscribed yet. So make sure to subscribe. It's completely free uh, and it does help out the channel a ton. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about run defense, in particular against this formation right here, I form close, um, and I want to talk to you about the 3-3-5 wide, and I want to talk to you a little bit about why I think it's such a good defense, um, and really what we're going to do here, just want to share with you my coaching adjustments, I got auto flip on, auto alignment to default, ball on air defense to play receiver, cornerback matchups on balance, option on, on conservative, and then my zone drops have the curl flat set to 25 yards. Now, when you're running your run, uh, your three three five wide, it's really smart to auto into it from three three five. So I've got safeties at linebacker, and I've got linebackers at uh, defensive end, so that when I auto down, I have really really good and fast players um, at my at my disposal. Last but not least, I have the Mike Blitz three in my audibles for nickel three three five wide. Now, really quick before we dive too deep into this, I want to talk to you about two things. Um, first and foremost, I want to talk to you about my 335 wide defense. If you have not gotten it yet, there is a link to pick it up in the description. And the 335 wide defense is by far the best defense in the game, and it's not even close right now. Every pro is running, almost every pro that I see in the MCS is running this defense because of how powerful and how dominant it really is against both the run and the pass. It allows you a lot of flexibility, it allows you easy setups that are simple to run, and it just gets the job done. So just know that going into it. So if you want to pick that defense up, there's a link to it in the description. Also, if you have any questions about what you see in today's video, you can always text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of the of the video as well as the description of the video. Okay, so I want to come out and cover four, and we're going to basically audible into Mike Blitz 3. Now, when we audible into Mike Blitz 3, one of the things that we, we have to do is make a decision. And that decision is, do we want to shift our line to the strong side of the formation, or do we want to spread our defensive line? Now, against I form close, I like to shift my line to the strong side, and then I like to stand, um, and, and part of the trick to run defense is knowing where to stand with your user so that you can get into the into the running lane. So um, I find with I form close, um, one of the things that I like to do is crash my line out, and then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to typically put two flat zones out here. So I'm going to put uh, both of my outside linebackers in hard flats, and then I'm going to put the defensive end on the right side into a three red hook, and I'm probably going to pass commit. Now from there, I've got to, again, understand my run defense and where I'm supposed to stand. So what I've noticed is with this in particular offense, if I stand right here, this actually you know doesn't work. As you see right there, I get bottled up. So what you want to do is kind of try out some different methods as far as where to stand because every formation is a little bit different in terms of how they are going to block the run. And some of the best runners in the game are going to know, you know, how to find these, you know, really, really good plays. So uh, I just want to let you know how to stop each run and how to blow it up. And typically what I like to tell people is what you're going to simply do here is if it's an inside run, you're going to shoot right in here. If it's an outside run, you're going to shoot right in here. And we'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the power O. You'll see that I'm going to shoot right in here. And as you can see here, the defense is going to blow it up. And then I want to show you, um, I want to show you a stretch type of run. Uh, the stretch from I form close is, I think, pretty really. I think it's pretty good because it's hard to shoot it. But if you stand, and again, you want to be as close to this guy as you possibly can. Um, I almost like to maybe even be just a little bit outside of him. But if they run stretch here, you see that I can get bottled up. So that's one of the issues that I run into with I form close. I think I form close gives a little bit better blocking on stretch runs than. A lot of um, a lot of formation. So again, part of this is just figuring this out. But as you can see here, if I can just shoot to the outside, you see I'm able to stop the stretch run. 
So again, it's kind of like scraping a little bit. You know, I'm I'm kind of, you know, again, I'm just going to the right at the snap of the ball. If I were to go left here, you see that I'm going right into a block. So that's not a good strategy. And, and one of the mistakes that I make is trying to shoot every run the same. You can't shoot every run the same, at least not from this defense. You have to identify, you know, how do I get this done? So if I were facing the stretch, again, I want to shoot right through here, and that's what we're looking at right there. As you see, we're able to slip right through and get the get the tackle. I want to jump into instant replay and just share this with you and show you the angle um, that I just took. So if you look here again, my theory my theory is if it's an outside run, we want to go outside the defensive tackle and right through that. Um, I guess that four gap would be what it's the the four gap hole right there. See that right there? That's where we're going through. Now, if the fullback were to pick me up then, you know, it might be a big, you know, the, the corner on the outside would be able to get out there and make a play. But that's really what we're looking at doing. And I'll show it to you over time here. As far as a, um, as far as an outside run. So, again, you're going to stand, you know, you, you I really like to be, like, right behind this guy right here. Because, essentially, what we want to happen is them to, but that's what you see right there. You see me, I can scrape right through. It doesn't look like it's there. It's one of those things that doesn't look like it's there. So it looks like you're going to get blocked. But if you trust your system and you trust your gap shoots, that's where it's really going to help. So, again, I'm going right through the four hole, right through the four hole, and there we make the play. And that was with dropping, you know, eight in coverage. So that's how to stop the stretch and the power O. Now, um, really quickly here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit about the toss. Um, but one more time on the stretch. You see right there? Instant hit the stick. I'm just running straight down, running straight through. Now, the next play that I want to share with you how to stop is the halfback toss. Once again, it's another outside run, and it's an outside run uh, to the right. So that means we're going to try to shoot right through the middle here. So, again, you see I can get right through that gap shoot. The toss is relatively easy to stop. Um, it's not one of those runs that I, like, stay up at night worrying about the toss. Um, you know, it's more the ones that I fear the most are the stretches and the power O's. But... You'll see right here, you know, I I can typically, you know, I can't, with the toss, it's harder to shoot right through that 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 uh, four gap. Really what you're going to do with the toss is you're just going to jet outside and hold your contain. Um, that's what I think will work the best. So, again, if I see toss here, I'm just going to jet outside here and just kind of scrape and make a play. I'm not too concerned with that. Um, you know, most people don't run toss uh, also, but we'll show it to you one more time here. So, again... Shift your line to the running back side, crash it out, and then you're going to stand right about here. And you can sometimes, you know, if I just hold my gap, sometimes I just eat up the blockers and it allows that guy to come free off the outside as well. So that's something that you, you know, really need to know when you're running this defense. And you need to know where you're weak and you need to know where you're strong. And you know what runs are going to be harder to stop versus what runs are going to be easier to stop. But as you can see there, the toss is pretty much the easiest to stop out of all these runs. And then the last run that I want to share with you uh, today is the ISO. Now this is the difference in the shoot. So normally I would shoot right through here, but you see if I do that, then the ISO is going to be wide open. So what I have to do as a user, and the ISO in my opinion is probably the hardest to stop, and it's the one that I would say, and, and th this is where you want to bring these guys in over your tackles. If you can get those guys in there, that will help a ton with the ISO run. But ISO, you're just coming right down in here and basically trying to blow that fullback up. And what I have found is if you put out my way on your user, it is much, much easier to blow that up than if you don't have it. Um, but again, ISO, you're, you really want, what I almost say with ISO is you just, if you just wait and then go, you have a pretty good chance. If you wait for just a second, because it's like you wait, you identify it's ISO, and then you go and you make a play. So, you know, that's what I've noticed. You know, you want to be patient with your user. You don't have to get, you know, the instant thing, but you really don't want to over pursue because you see that can happen when you do that. So that's just something that, you know, I would tell you. If you see ISO, you know that your job 100% is to blow your fullback up. Now, what I would recommend also is as soon as you see the run, click the right joystick in. So snap the ball, click the right joystick in, and then we just go make a tackle. Just click it in. You don't not hit stick, not flick it up. I'm saying to click, click the right the right joystick in. That will help a ton with the run. Um, and again, run defense needs to be labbed. If you're a defensive player and you don't lab run defense, 
you're crazy in my opinion because if you don't if you're not prepared and this is the one thing that I feel the most helpless helpless against when I'm playing a game is if I don't know how to stop a run I hate it so because I just feel like they can just keep running it over and over again so again you're just trying to get in there now one little trick that you can do um, that I haven't touched on a ton is dive tackles um, like when you're facing an, an inside zone guy like a, a guy that likes to run ISO if you just like dive and again, I, didn't, I wasn't able to do it there. I'll try to get a, a good example for you. If you just hit square right before you get blocked, oftentimes you won't get blocked, and you'll basically just shoot in for an instant tackle. So again, ISO, and you're just kind of presetting here, and then I'm just dive tackling, and as you can see, you know we're able to hang on there. So you know that's a little bit about it. As far as the fullback goes, you know one of the other things that you can do is you can crash your line to the uh, to the outside here. If you crash your line to the outside, you'll notice that you know you might have a little bit easier over time. The ISO is hard to stop. The ISO is kind of random, but the ISO is harder to stop like in practice mode because you because it's such a quick hitting run. So if you really want to stop it again, bring these guys in, just pinch them in just a little bit. This will help with everything else as well. But you know, realistically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to again, um, you know, just get get through there and make a play on the ball that's all we're really trying to do um, that shoot is wide open for us and that's where I would say you know it really does if you're playing someone that really likes to run the ball it really is a, a big deal if you could get something like out my way on your user but that's really that's more what we're looking for because normally you'll get a shed um, it just you just have to kind of redirect the run a little bit um, to get it and then the last style of run defense is like all-out run defense like if you're trying to stop it just spy your safeties what you'll notice is when I spy my safeties that fullback won't block me and it's gonna be an instant hit stick in the backfield so that's the run defense from Mike Blitz 3 and Mike Blitz O thanks for watching this video I hope it was helpful Real quick before we take off, I want to remind you about my nightly live streams at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I also wanted to remind you, uh, we stream every night at 10 o'clock on YouTube. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is, if you want to get this ebook, like I said, we go more in depth. We show you more case studies. We show you how to run this in a gameplay. Uh, we don't just show you run defense. We show you pass defense. We show you coverage defense. All of it. It's the best defense in the game. Make sure to get it. It's in the description best defense by far that you will get in Madden 21 right now and uh, pretty much every pro is running it in the MCS and they, they believe this is the best and I, I think it is as well so there's a bunch of different ways to run it we show you how to in the ebook so if you haven't picked it up yet the link is in the description it's just 15 bucks also if you want to get a free sample to this ebook um, just text me my number is 812 216-3644 text message memberships uh, the text message members get a free sample to all my ebooks uh, and then one for nickel 335 wide is about 56 minutes long so make sure to text me about that otherwise we'll see you guys tomorrow and if you want to get the ebook like I said it is in the description of this video